Okay, so I'm going to show you. This is a packer that I made from my previous video. And, um, yeah, you guys are probably wondering why is it already made and how come I didn't show you how to make it. It's because I recorded with my phone and my phone didn't have enough space, so I'm recording on my tablet right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of this so you guys know how to make it and what to do. Okay. So first of all, you're going to need an old pair of socks. It doesn't have to be new. I mean, it can, but what's the use if you're going to, you know, use it, you know, every day. So I would just suggest you get an old pair of socks, clean. Um, either that or just get socks that you don't use and you're just gonna so if they're like this you could always take them out and just um, put them back together okay so we're just gonna take them out There you go, that looks way better. So, okay, so here's two things. If you want a packer that is gonna, like that's not gonna be too big and not too small, I suggest to use one packer. And if, and if you're like that type of person that has like severe dysphoria, and dysphoria, and dysphoria means like you're very uncomfortable with your body parts and you don't feel uh, comfortable and you feel awkward with your uh, private area. So if you don't want this to show, I suggest you only use one packer, okay? So we're going to need a pair of socks if you want the, a small packer. And you're going to need um, a bra foam okay and then you're gonna need these little medical strands I don't know what they're called I don't know why I can't get the name but you're gonna need these and this size right now that you see this is not the size that you want you're gonna want like a, a seven inch size five six this is like a four and the reason why I cut them the, this small is because I ran out. So if you're going to buy this, make sure you buy the rough, um, very edgy material. Don't buy the softy, don't buy the soft, smooth material because that will slip fast. And so you want something that's going to be rough, that's going to keep it intact and good material. So the material, you're going to want it to be very sturdy. So you can always go to like the Dollar Tree or whatever and just get this, like the same exact thing. The one that says, uh, I have a boo-boo or whatever. So yeah. So to make this packer, you're going to want to get your sock. And you're going to want to get your uh, bra pad, your bra foam or whatever. And these bra foams, like I said, the same as a sock, it doesn't have... It doesn't have to be new, it could be used, you know, it could be an old one, or it could be just something that you don't use that often. So in order to make this packer, you're going to go ahead and get your sock, put it right in the middle, about right here. Okay. And obviously, to cut, you're going to need some scissors, which I don't know where my scissors are at. But since they're cut, so these you're gonna need at least six, at least six or seven strands of these. And the size, I would prefer um, the medium size or a large size. Don't go for the small size because they will slip and you don't want that to happen. You want your packer to stay sturdy and you want it to. Um, you want it to be in your private area, very sturdy, and you and you don't want it to slip. So the size, I would suggest either this size or a medium size. And a medium size will be a little bit more skinnier. Okay, so you're going to put it in the middle. And these edges right here that you see, this is what you're going to fold. 
So if you're, this is your first time, it might be a little bit hard for you, but this is like my second or my third time, so it wouldn't be hard for me. So you can either take one of these areas. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which one you take, they're all the same. Um, you're going to take one, and you're just going to fold it to the edge. You're going to fold it to the center, okay? Fold it as much as you can, okay? And then you're going to have your thumb here. That's what's going to keep it in place. And then you're going to get one of your things. And you're just going to wrap it around like this. Okay. So... So since this is pretty short, it might not look like the exact packer. So it's going to be like much harder. Like if I had more, I would have done it better, but I was limited on this medical strap wrapping whatever okay so there you go you have your first thing done okay now these edges you're going to do the same thing now if you have smaller ones I suggest the small ones go last and if you have big ones like this they go first so you're going to take the edge this edge right here and then you're just going to fold it again as far as you can but you're gonna want to kind of stretch it so take the tip of this right here and then you're just gonna kind of want to pull it and then just go over and then just stretch okay and then you're gonna get your other strand and you're gonna want to strap it so when you're whenever you're wrapping it or whatever make sure that you're going over what you folded and you're uh, wrapping it or closing it with an end with an open end so it's gonna be like this so with this you're gonna have a lot of patience because it might slip so just take your time with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna wanna tie it like this. Okay. Now, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting, but since I don't have enough, yeah. Okay, so I only have one strand left, and I'm going to try to make the best of it to see, to give you guys the clear vision of how it's supposed to look. So these, these like, these like little, um, that are out, you could always wrap it up, you could always fold it, um, wrap it up with the medical strand, or you could just leave it, it's up to you, but I would suggest that you fold it and wrap it up because if you're going to wear it you don't want these things to show and you don't want it to look visible on you and you don't want people staring down there so for this situation since I don't have enough strands to wrap it up um, I'm going to go ahead and take this outer one the biggest fold so this whenever you have folds like this just take it like this and then just fold it again 